And I just kind of told myself, you know, you can keep doing, you can keep pushing, keep fighting, and here I am doing, you know, some, some amazing things with, with bad knees. It's been nearly two years since Southern fans last saw Josh Swan take a shot on the home floor. Ball knocked loose, diving save by Court, Swan. New shot clock, it's Brown Searles to Swan, it's three on two, goes into the lane, two of the rack, good. His last game in uniform was when the Salukis knocked off then ranked number 22 Wichita State in 2013. And I'll never forget the day I found out, I walked into Coach Henson's office and he looked kind of, you know, down and out, and I saw the doctors there, I saw their faces, so I kind of had a bad feeling going in. Um, and then they told me what was going on with my knees. And What the doctors told him was that he would no longer be able to continue his career playing basketball. The cartilage in his knee had all but disappeared, making it nearly impossible to play without excruciating pain and risk of serious injury. I remember talking to my dad and just breaking down on the phone with him and, and just struggling to kind of get through it. Um, even over the next, you know, two, three months, it just took me a long time to get through. I even tried to come back, actually. Worked out with the team over the summer, but it just didn't really go in my favor. Swan has adapted to a new role on the team as a player coach, one he feels he's learned a lot from. From when I was playing to watching, I could see things now watching that I didn't know when I was playing. And it's just an amazing feeling to be able to tell those guys, you know, what's going to happen next on, a, on the court in different plays, different situations, and for them to listen to me. So I definitely started to like coaching. The itch to play basketball does not go unworked, but now he has to channel it in other ways. It's easy to, to look back on it and smile about it now because of how far I've come, but at the time it was it was off. I remember nights I cried myself to sleep, actually. Um, it was just, just thinking about not being able to, to play anymore. All last season, um, the first year I was doing it as a, a coach, um, just sitting watching the guys and, and coming out here and the fans cheer, you know, knowing that I'm not going to get that same chance to, to run up down the court and have those fans cheer for me anymore. Um, it was. It was tough. Swan now has his sights set on new goals. He continues to play basketball and practice with the guys and even has time for a little extracurricular activity. With his sights set on new goals, Swan has been pushing himself week in and week out in the weight room working to get stronger and healthier each day. I got into lifting because I still felt I could keep my body in shape. I could still you know, maybe one day get back out and run like I'm doing now and, and be active. And I've just been to someone who could never just take no for an answer. You know, when they told me I couldn't, I couldn't play, I couldn't run or anything, I took it for a second, but then after a while, I just, I told myself I could still get in the weight room, I could still, you know, lift um, and just try to make my body stronger, even at, you know, this stage. Being the best is what Swan strives for. He will get his chance to become even stronger when he furthers his degree as a graduate assistant in the weight room next year. For Saluki All Access, I'm Anthony Giazzi.